Welcome everybody to the, well, I'm trying to do weekly shir for the Zer Shimshin. <clears throat> uh, the last few months it's been uh, rather challenging since we were at my granddaughter's chasna in New York and Detroit and we were in Cleveland and, uh, <clears throat> and traveling on the plane back was very tiring and exhausting for us. So last week I, uh, I kind of forgot. What can I say? I'm sorry. <clears throat> this week I have a rather long one because it's worth saying over these things because these are concepts that are basic daily concepts in Yiddishkeit. So it's actually Chaf Menach Ma'av. And I wish everybody the happy birthdays and the happy anniversaries that they all deserve, my family and others who, who deserve it. You know, continue and see what we can do. So this is from Parshas Akiv, one day behind, okay. <clears throat> and it says in Perak Beis in Shabbos Daflamad Aleph Omad Aleph, Machriz Rabbi Yanai, Chaval al the lay base of a Tara the Darte Yavit. Chaval and somebody doesn't have a house, but he has a an interest, he has a a gateway to the house. How do you have a gateway to a house he doesn't have? Okay. Anyway, it says there the reason that's the Iker Gemara about Yerushalayim and how much the, the questions that will be asked to him when he comes to the world, the the Oyelim Emes. Okay, the reason is the time Shayira Shemayim Nika Bayis, and the Torah is called Shar. Okay, Lefisha by Torah, since the Torah is called Zman Shadam Haygeba Maitzi Ba Tamim Chadashi. Every time the, the person is learning new stuff, every, it doesn't matter how many times he repeats it, he, can, he will always get new news, newses, <laughs> newsies. He'll get interesting uh, insights that he didn't think about before and interesting questions. In Kate's Litamude, there's no end to learning. That's why it's infinite. There's even deeper and deeper in levels that we can't even fathom. In Kena, he kemoi shar, she nichnasim bo lefnim. Therefore, it's like a gateway that you constantly go deep in. Om nam hayira shamayim, misizacha kvar zacha bo. So if somebody has yira shamayim, if he's privileged to that, he already has it. Vehu kavua bo, like oilam. And it's permanent by him. Therefore, the chen hu kimoi abayis. Therefore, it's like a house, established, sturdy. That's what Chazal said in Gemara and Brachis Daf Tamid Gimel Amad Beis. The hakol bidei shemaim chutz mi yir shemaim. Everything is in the hands of heaven, except for yir shemaim. Shehoyo sheho adam chayiv lahakdi shatzmai. Since a person has to sanctify himself with the kibaya atzmai tader bi yir bi yir zu, the person has to be constantly working on this fear. So you see, you need to have a permanent uh, position on it, permanent ca capabilities. So you see, we need something permanent. Therefore, it's called a house. A house is a permanent structure. And and therefore, it's impossible that it should be in the hands of heaven. The Kaimalan, it says in Baba Kama, the Ish ki yaktish as beisai kaidish. When a person sanctifies his house, it becomes holy. O ma beisai beushusai, just like his house is in his domain. Af kol beushusai, everything that's in his rishus, anything, anything that's in his domain, he can sanctify. Ve oid, furthermore. She eker hayira haino shehu might see where tzayna mirushus atzmai. O makdish the gvoya. So what happens with yira is that he finds things that he wants to do right in within his realm, within his domain, and he sanctifies those things to the rebbeinish oilam. Just like we, the first thing we do when it comes Shabbos, we take a glass of wine and we make kiddush, right? That's how we sanctify the Shabbos. It's like a nether in the hectish. Therefore, you can't be makdish something that doesn't belong to you. Right? You can't be makdish something that doesn't belong to you. 
You have to have it, a possession of it. It's also a Gemara in Lamed Gimel, Omid Beis, the Gemara in Brachas, Ato Yisrael Ma Hashem Elokecha Shoyal Mimach. Famous Pasuk we had just last week. What is Hashem asking from you? Ato Yira, the Gemara there says, Ato Yira Milsa Zutrasi, he is Yira as, like a nothing, it's not a big deal. So if it's a little thing, it says that God has a whole treasure house, a storage house of Yerushalayim. Ve'in the Gabi, yes, the Gemara answers yes. A Gabi Moshe Milsa Zutrasi. In reference to Moshe, it's a very minimal thing. Moshe, Moshe lo Adam shemivakshem imelo kli gadol v'yesh le'doim elav kikli katan. If there's somebody, if people ask for a person a big vessel, but he, do, he, he does have a little vessel similar to that. But if they ask for him something small, but he doesn't have anything like that in a large size, okay? The, 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 the before him are asking, just because by Moshe Rabbeinu, who was the Ava Navim, <laughs> he was the greatest, one of the greatest men that ever lived on the face of the earth. So therefore, it's by him, it's not, nothing to have this Yer Shamayim. But by Haju, Af Yisrael, who Mina Roy, Shiyah, Cain, automatically it's by every Jew like that? Like it's, it's nothing. It's Yer Shamayim, everybody should have that, right? But it's a, by a Jew, it's every other Jew that's not Moshe Rabbeinu and his Madrega, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. The Moshe, what do we need the Moshe for? And furthermore, if the, 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 the Moshe, the anecdote is difficult, and here, the Moshe is asking the Jewish people, not telling them, he's asking them. And they don't have it. It's like, I, I don't have such a big vessel, okay? Like Moshe Rabbeinu was endowed with a huge neshama that contained 600,000 of the Jewish people, right? There's a neshama klalis. It's got, we got to say that fear... Well, decide, decide exactly, we define what kind of fear we're talking about here. Fear is absolutely necessary for a person. And if he doesn't do it willingly, then he will get some scary thing that happens and he'll be forced to be fearful. Like they say, there's no atheist in a foxhole. <laughs> you had those bobs coming at you, you, you suddenly turn to God. He's the only one that can help. Even though in front of God it's very important to have Yerushalayim. But by Moshe, reference to Moshe, a person has to be forced to have Yerushalayim in front of God. And in Pasuk and Kohelis, O Elakim Asa Sheyiru Milafanov. God made man that they should be frightened from him. Loy Nivro Aramim, and the gives a example. People are scared of natural disasters, right? For example, it says that the thunder was only created in order to straighten out the. the the crookedness, the perversions in the heart. How many times things happen and a person is forced to have fear of God? It's not considered a, a big deal and a big mitzvah. Don't say that it's only reference to Moshe, Sha'afim, Loi Haisa, Hechrachis, Hayanizaba, that even though it was enforced by, upon him, he was, he was very careful about it. 
It's like he was careful in all the mitzvahs. Mishum hachi, therefore it says, Omar Mashal Adam, that he's a, like a, he's got a kli god, he doesn't have a kli god. Klemer zeu dover tv, o min hagai shaloidam hukach. This is natural that a person should, if he's requesting to have your shamayim, it's not something that comes naturally. He's got to work on it. And if he doesn't work on it, it's going to scare him to death. Okay. Even though by a Jewish person, even though that Yira is a very special vessel and very dear to Hashem, since the Jewish people have to be forced to accept it on themselves, and anything that's by, by force going to happen, it's as if it happened already. Like so we said, the Gemara Ksuba, it's a principle in the Gemara. Anything that's going to ready, it's ripe through, off the vine, it's ready to be picked, it's like it's picked already. And the same thing, a few principles we have in different places in the Gemara. So it's fitting that the, the God will ask for them something a little, little bit, just do a little bit of your. But that's not true with wisdoms that are a small vessel in reference to is in opposed to Yira. Because they're in the in the realm of going into the wisdoms as going into the Talmud, the depths of the Talmud. Kedar meaning hakol hechaval adalesle beisa omnam, like we said in the Gemara there in Shabbos. Woe to the one that has a house that doesn't have a, a gate to the house. Omnam loy to v'ano beyad beyad ha'adam bal karche, but we're not going to bring it to a man by force. Because Chachma, you can't be forced to learn. You have to learn it by yourself. And furthermore, God will not give you wisdom unless you really attempt to achieve it. His heart has to be open to wisdom. Therefore, it's appeared like a big vessel to him. So Nehemiah says in Ram. In Mishlei Ramais le Avil Chachmais, the um, how you say deception to the fool is wisdom. But there's a Yuvan Hapasik in Mishlei. Tchila is Chachmais Yor Hashem. The beginning of wisdom is Yor Hashem. Vedas Kedoshim Bina Ki Bi Yer Bo Yamecho. Okay, so another Pasik in Mishlei. Because in me you will increase your days. The kasha ech evsher shetchilas hachachma tia yira. How is it possible that the beginning of wisdom is fear? Haloi b'shein tchilas tchila hachachma yevsher shetia hayira. Because if you don't have wisdom first, uh, you're not going to have fear. So before some pirke always ain't bor yare chet. A fool, I mean, you know, what I'm an agnignoramus can't be a fearful of Hashem. Can't be fearful of sin. What does it mean, Parshas Drachim? It's a Tamad Chacham that has fear of sin. So when he, once he's privileged to that level of wisdom, he gets the Yeres Chet, and he's privileged to the Torah that saves him from everything. The Alpha God that prepared Gimel the Always, even though it says there, Kol Shiyuras Chetai Kaidemis La Chachmasai Chachmasai Miskayemis. So anything that anybody whose wisdom is prior to his wisdom, his fear of sin is prior to his wisdom, his wisdom is Miskayemis is established, will continue. The Kol Shachmasai Kaidemis the Yurasai in Chachmasai Miskayemis. Shinira Mikan Shitzach Shitakdim Yahira La Chachma. You see from that. Mishnah, you gotta have Yura first and then wisdom. So what happens is that 
he thinks about the sphere of sin before his wisdom. He's thinking in his heart, I learn, I have to learn how the Gemara and the Halachas in order to be know what to be afraid of, know what to do on Shabbos. What's muksa? What's not muksa? What can you cook? What can you not cook? What What's an error? What's not an error? Well, Lama Omar Akasav Techilas Chachmas Chachma Yiras Hashem. So then, why did the pasuk say the beginning of wisdom is Yiras Hashem? It also says and tell them, everybody knows this one. Rishis Chachma Yiras Hashem. So Im Noimar Lefarish Elu Hapsukim. If we try to attempt to explain these Pesukim, Kimoy Shapira Sharav Hamish Hamish BeHamishna BeAvois Yiras Shalayim Arkein. It's impossible to say that. The hasam of always nicha mishum the nakad halashon shall yiras chetoi. It's to be medayik in the in the lashon. It's his fear of sin, of his sin. The mashma shiori lasayis chet. He's afraid of doing a sin, of committing an aver. Zohi imayles habishayneis. This is from sheyesh biyira. This is from the first steps in being yiras Hashem. The hainos the yais nizar meachet. That's simple, the worst, the lowest level of Yira to be afraid of doing a sin. So he's got to first learn to distance himself. He's got to learn, that's the wisdom, in order to distance himself from things that he shouldn't be doing. But Yiras Hashem is an internal fear, not fear of sin, but a recognition of God, an awesomeness of God. Behubur, somebody that never began to learn in his in ignoramus, Iafshar, she Yoimar Harini writes a little might kade la gia la yira panimis. You know, you can't even begin to imagine what that means. Okay. He's gotta first learn what it means to keep away from sin. Shari Adai and Ainlay Hari Shaina Bachit Sain. He doesn't have the first level to stay away from sin. But Oid Shaim Ainamat Kvar Chacham because even if he's not a wise person, he doesn't even know to distinguish between one type of fear, which is a fear of sin, and the other type of fear, which is awesomeness of God. It doesn't say that. It's much that Yira is the beginning of wisdom. This is not Shahari Kola Chachma Tzvicha Tia B'Yeres Hashem. All wisdom has to be with the fear of Hashem. I'm going to stop in the middle because it's very long, but I had to share this because this is Ikri Dinim of how to learn and how to have your Shemayim. May everybody be blessed with a wonderful week. Shua Tov. A good Tavach and a blessed week. And also, um, this is in preparation for the Yom HaNoira HaGadol of Rosh Hashanah coming upon us soon. Mitz Hashem, a new year, a new brachas, Mitz Hashem, and new challenges. So may everybody be blessed with Yerash Shemayim. Kol Tuv.